Hello, everybody. I'm Jordi Bailina. I'm the technical lead at Polygon ZK ABM. And today, uh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain a detail of the ZK ABM that we are building is the recursive part. What allows, what I want to explain to you is, OK, we have a, we start with a circuit that actually verifies a block, which is where all the, all the things happen. But then the idea is that we want to aggregate many blocks in a single proof. And for that, we want to create a proof that aggregates proof and all that. So I'm going to explain all this process from we have a proof of a ZKBM and how we aggregate and we convert to a final proof, a very small proof, that with many blocks in the, in the, and we prove that on chain. Okay? So if we see the basic, where all the logic of the ZKBM, this is a huge uh, circuit, it's a huge Stark circuit working with the in, with uh, Goldilocks brain field. And if you see the inputs here, it should sound quite familiar. It's a, it's a circuit that proves from going from an old state root to a new state root. The, all the so, and which transactions? Well, all the transactions that are processing is in the second in the second input, this is the, the accumulated, uh, so the accumulated hash, this is where all the transactions come. Actually, this is like a kind of a blockchain, and this is built in the, this is built in the smart contract. So actually what we are doing is, in each batch, we hash all the functions, and we hash with the last block, something like a, a blockchain. But it's not processing nothing, it's just chaining all the transactions that is going to be processed. So this would allow us, for example, for proof, a segment, you know, from block four to block fourteen. Uh, so a segment on the on the chain, and then the idea is that the input uh, accumulated hash and the output accumulated hash matches. In the case of a single block, which is the this case, just uh, it's just for for one block. Here, the for the local exit route. This is mainly for uh, for the bridge, just for transferring information from L2 to L1. Okay, we have the old batch number, the new batch number. So from which batch? It is in this case. It just increments one. Goes from, from this. This this proof goes from. It's the proof for batch three to four, or for four to five. This is the main batch, okay. And the, the chain ID that we are we are it here, okay. So this this proof is a huge proof. Is uh, we are working with two to the twenty three polynomials. There is six hundred sixty nine polynomials at this point. There is um, there is eighteen. Uh, <coughs> 18 permutation checks, 29 plukaps, uh, two copy constraints. So, and this gives a total width of uh, more than 1,000 uh, columns in the in the stacks. Which is, it's a big it's a big stack. Okay, we are applying a blow up factor of two here, and this is okay. If you see the size of this proof is about two, mil two, two megabytes. So it's a huge it's a huge proof. Okay, so the first thing that we do, we have this huge proof. We cannot prove that on chain, and this does not aggregate anything. So the first thing that we do is we try to reduce this proof. So actually, what we are doing is a proof of a proof. So we are creating a first level of recursion with a single proof just to reduce. The, on the only reason for reduce, okay? And here is, well, if you see this um, circuit, is, well, the public inputs are exactly the same that the original circuit. The only thing is that the input are not the transactions. In this case, the input is the last proof that we generated, these two megabytes on the system. And this is a, another circuit. This circuit, the interesting thing of this circuit is that this circuit that verifies it's a circuit that verifies the Stark, okay? And this circuit is written in circum. Actually, it's written automatically, pill Stark, mainly what, the, what does is just convert any pill, so any, any circuit, and generates the, the verifier in, in circum, mm -hmm. and then there is a process to convert this circum in, uh, another, into, another, into another Stark, okay? Um, here, this whole this Stark is a structure. Mainly, is a is a Planck-like circuit. Is twelve instead of having three columns, there is twelve columns. We have basic Plonks, uh, basic Planck gates. Actually, we have four per row because we have twelve. So, uh, thing. Then we have uh, four custom gates uh, that are specific for verifying a Starks. These uh, custom gates are well. One is a four Poseidon. Is one step of Poseidon, so that we can do that in a single in a single row, a uh, single step in a single row. Uh, we have another four FFTs, an FFT of uh, four elements uh, in a complex field, so it goes 12 to 12. Okay? We have another custom gate for uh, evaluating polynomials, that you require that in, in, in the Fry polynomial. And 
then we have another one that's just a complex, uh, uh, it's a, well, it's a, a, a multiplication addition in extension three, that you do that a lot in the operations. So with all that together, we have a circuit, and then after this, we reduce that a lot. We go from two megabytes to uh, half, half megabyte altogether. You see that the proving time here, we go from two minutes to 14 seconds. This is, well, actually, we need to add them. Uh, to the proving to the proving side, but it's not that much. This gives us a smaller. We are using a blow-up factor of, of of four, and you know it's a much more simple circuit. Okay, and now after this we start what's the recursion part. Okay, the first step is like another reduction. It's also a kind of a normalization. It's another circuit that does exactly the same. The only difference is well we add an extra public input. We call root C. We'll see wh what's what's this, but actually this. It's a public input that, at, in this circuit, does nothing. It's just a public input that's uh, put it there. Okay. Uh, this well, this this gives so gives, this gives us another level of recursion that goes smaller and so on. Okay. So and what we do here is okay. We generate with circum, but we don't generate a full circuit. Here, we, what we do is we generate um, a template, a circum template that actually does this verification. Okay, so you, this verification, you, you just pass as a public, as a private input, you pass the this uh, the output of the of the last uh, circuit. You pass to here, and this is a circuit that actually verifies that. Okay, one of the okay, so that's the that's this. We, we let's keep this circuit. Okay, so this template, and now with this template, we actually we want to build a circuit that aggregates two proofs. Okay, let's do this. Let's start from here. Let's take one proof and another proof, and then we create a circuit that actually is a proof of two proofs. Okay, so how would we do? Well, we will take two of these templates, we put them together in the circuit, we align them uh, all together. Um, yeah, and well, you have these two. Actually, you have these two these two circuits, and so here is you can see that the input of the circuit is going to be the two proofs, and this will aggregate, will convert. One single proof in, in in two proofs, okay? But you cannot do much more. You can take two basic proofs, and this you aggregate to a single proof, okay? But now let's take this circuit, okay? And let's create another template that verifies this double circuit, this recursive two circuit, okay? And here we have a, a circum circuit, okay? That is exactly so. It's a circuit circuit that actually verifies the two. The only thing that the, 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 in this verification, the only thing that's different is what we call the constant, the pre-compiled, the, the pre-computed polynomials, which is the hash of all the polynomials. Okay, but this is exactly so. This circuit of verifying the the verifier two and the circuit for verifying the, the the original circuit is exactly the same. The only difference is the this uh, constant, this constant root, and the, the trick here is that we put this constant root as a public input. That's why we added this public input. So if you see these templates in Circom, they are exactly the same code. So this is exactly the same. So this circuit here, actually, it, is very, it allows you to verify uh, two proof, but the proof can be either a recursive one or a recursive two. The only difference is as, a, as, a, as the input of this recursive verifier, and this is the root C, we need to tell them if it's a recursive one or a recursive two. The recursive one, we can hard code them because recursive one were already built. The problem is that the recursive two with this root, we don't know yet because it's, uh, you know, we are building this circuit. So it's, we have this kind of um, egg, 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 chicken and egg problem. Okay, but because this input, we put it as a public input, we are just selecting, and actually this template is exactly the same. It does not depend on this. And here is where we have this multiplexer, where depending if we are proving uh, uh, a recursive one or a recursive two, so it's an original or the first one, we are multiplexing and selecting one constant to one or the other. Okay, so this circuit is very cool because it allows you to aggregate two proofs, so two, I can take two, original proofs and aggregate them, but then this proof I can aggregate with another proof one. Or I can take two roots two, so I can build a, a tree and no matter. So I, I don't need to do it sequentially. So I can do it very much in parallel. It allows you to maybe have a process uh, aggregating um, the batches one and two, the other aggregating the batches three and four, the other the batches five and six, and then 
the output of the, of the first two processes, the recursive one and two and three and four, we aggregate them all together, so we have a proof that is the one, two, three, four, and then the, the aggregate with five and six, I can add maybe an extra one, a seven, so I can, I'm free of uh, selecting how I'm building this, how I'm building this proof. Okay, so this is the, the, the trick and, 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 the magic, and the magic of this circuit. If you see the circuit, this is much smaller. I'm sure this can be reduced, but this is around uh, 10 seconds right now, but I'm sure it can be done with uh, sub-second here. But this is a quite relatively small, relatively small, relatively small proof, okay? And this is, allows us to aggregate. And in the final step, we have like another circuit, as we call recursive, uh, recursive F, which is the, the last one, when I, when I have to write the proof and I want to send that on chain. So here is the, the steps. Actually, we have another circuit. We're taking exactly the same, the same, um, the same template, the same, um, you know, the, the same verifier template that we already built before. Here, we already fix these constants because we already know the, the, the recursive one and recursive two uh, constants. This is which the is circuit. And here, uh, I'm just selecting one or the other, depending if I want to just do it's a final one or a recursive two, so a final or, or, or a recursive, so a recursive one or a recursive two. So I have this multiplexer again, and here I just have another Stark. This is Stark. The thing, the difference here is that here this is Stark. It's a normal Stark. The only difference is that the hashing is not in the Goldilocks field. The hashing is in the BN. Uh, it's it's in the BN corp. It's a Poseidon in the in the BN corp. Because this goes to the last, the last, the final, the final stage. The final stage actually is what's doing. Uh, what's doing in the in the final state is actually is it's uh, this verifier. So it's a uh, but this is a it's a normal circum. It's a normal BN corp. It just takes a verifier, and it takes this all these inputs and, and verifies that. But the, the difference here is that the inputs, instead of being a public input, instead of being private inputs, instead of being public inputs, we, we are setting in the po as, uh, uh, we are putting uh, in as private inputs. We hash them together, and there is a single public. There is a, just a single public. So in, on chain, there is only one public input, which is the hash of all the public inputs of the of the recursion. So of the past of the past of the past states. Okay. This uh, circuit is uh, quite uh, small. In Gro16, it takes less than 11 seconds. It's uh, less than white megabytes of constraints. Works in the VN Corp. And yeah, the gas cost for verifying that is 362. Actually, we are working right now in, instead of using Gro16, using FLONG. Uh, uh, this, uh, yeah, the cost of FLONG, it would be, the, the gas cost is it going to be the same that more or less the same that uh, Gloss 16. It will not require the trusted setup, but the proving time is going to be maybe like 10, 9, 10 times uh, slower. But this is the aggregation part, so this, is, this time is amortized with all the, all the batches that's verifying that, so it's not a big issue there. Okay, so that's very much, uh, um, uh, that's very much what I wanted. Just as uh, an announcement is in Polygon ZKVM, we are going to, we, if everything goes okay, we are going to launch the mainnet in March 2023. We are finishing the audits and everything is looking good. And yeah, that's, that's my presentation. Now, if you have any questions.